Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this responsive video gallery to your blogger website. So let me just uh, reduce the width and here we can see this is how it looks on a mobile device. And when we increase the width, we can see that we have this 100% width. And when we are greater than that, we have this uh, version right here. So this is completely responsive. And I also have videos on how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can go ahead and watch those videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. Now this is the blogger website where we're going to add the video gallery. And I'm using a basic theme that comes with blogger. So if I go over here to the blogger dashboard and if I go to theme, we can see that I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite. So this theme right here. All right, now the first thing we need to do is we need to upload the videos somewhere. So we can see we have all these videos over here. So if I click on any of these, we can see that the videos are being played over here. Right now, all the videos are in my laptop. So if I go back to our source code, here we can see that uh, we can see that we are using this path videos slash and uh, video 3.mp4. So if I go over here to the file browser, here we can see we have this videos folder and in that we have all these videos. Now, in order to use this in our website, we have to upload these videos somewhere and then we have to get the link of the video and then add that in our blogger website. Now, when you create a new post in blogger, you have an option to upload videos. So if I go over here to posts and if I click on new post, here we can see we have this option called insert video. So let's click on that and let's click on upload from computer and let's choose a video. So I'll just click on choose a video to upload. And let's select a video from here. So I'll just select this video and click on open. Now here we can see that the video has been uploaded. And if I go over here to preview, we can see that the video is being displayed over here. But we need to get the link of this video. So if we go back over here to our source code, we can see that we need to have the link of the video. And uh, we have structured our design in such a way that we need to have the link of the video. So if we go back to this uh, HTML view over here, and we can see that even here we don't have the link of the video. So we need to upload the video somewhere and get the link and add it in our code. So let me just delete this from here and uh, we will first upload our videos to Google Drive. So Google Drive is free and you get up to 15 GB of storage. And if you have a Gmail account, you can directly go to drive.google.com and you will get to this web page. And here you can go ahead and upload new files. So let's click on new and let's click on file upload and here are the four videos that we need to upload so let's select all of these and uh, let's click on open so the videos are being uploaded and we can see all the four videos have been uploaded now if we go over here we can see that we have all these four videos over here now we need to make some changes to these videos. So let's right click over here and let's click on get link. And here we need to change restricted to anyone with the link. And uh, let's click on done. And we need to do the same with all the other videos. So let's go over here to get link and uh, change this to anyone with the link. Now if you don't change this to anyone with the link, then the video will not be displayed to anyone who is not logged into their Google account. So let's do it to all the videos. All right, we have changed the permissions of all the videos. Now let me show you how to use the link in our video gallery. So let's go back to our source code. And here we are calling a function called play video. So let's go to our JavaScript file and uh, here we have this function called play video. So here in this play video function, we are changing the source of the video player. So in our HTML, we have this uh, video and uh, we have this class called video player. So we are changing the source of this video player. So let's go ahead and add the link of our Google Drive over here. So let's go back over here and uh, let's right click over here and click on get link. And uh, let's copy this link from here. And uh, let's paste it over here and uh, let's see whether it works so let's go back to our web page and uh, let's click on one of these videos 
and we can see that the video is not being displayed so we cannot directly go ahead and copy the link from here and add it to our video gallery so we have to convert the link of the google drive to a different format so let me show you how to do that here we can see we have this link where we have drive.google.com and then we have file and here we have the id of the video and then there is view and we have usb sharing so we have to change it to something like this so let me show you how to do that first of all you have to just copy this uh, drive.google.com so i'll just copy it from here and paste it over here and then you have to type forward slash uc question mark and then you have to type export equals download and then you have to type ampersand id equals and then you have to get this id from here so i'll just copy this id and paste it down here so this is how the link should look for it to be displayed on our video player so let me just cut this from here and paste it instead of this link right here right now let's go back to our website and uh, let's click on one of these videos and now we can see that the video is being displayed and uh, let's click on uh, any of these videos and we can see that the video is being displayed so we have just added the link of this one video so that's why this is the only video that is being displayed but we can see that it is working all right so the link is working all right now let's see how to display different videos based on the different thumbnails now the only thing we need to change is this id right here so we can get the id of each of the videos and pass that over here so instead of videos forward slash video 3 dot mp4 we can pass the id of the video over here and then we can use that in our main.js file so let's go ahead and change this to video id you don't have to do that but uh, it'll be easier for you to understand what is going on and let's go ahead and replace this with the video id variable over here so what i will do is i'll just remove these double quotes from here and i will use this character called backtick so it is just below the escape key in your keyboard so i'll just add that over here and add that over here as well now when you're using this backtick over here you can go ahead and add any variables inside this string so let's go ahead and delete this id from here and to add a variable you have to type dollar symbol and in curly braces you have to write the name of the variable so i'll just type video id so here we can see we have all this link over here and then we are adding the video id to the end so we are getting the video id from here and uh, here in our html we are passing the video id so let's replace all of these links with the video ids so here we need to get the video id of video 3 so let's go back to our drive and here you can see this is the video 3 so let's right click over here and click on get link and we need to get the id so i'll just double click over here and this is the id so i'll just copy this and uh, let's go over here and uh, here i'll just paste the id and we will do the same with all the other videos so here we need to have the video id of video 1 so let's right click over here in video 1 and uh, let's click on get link and i'll just get this id from here and copy and paste it over here let's do the same for the video 2 and video 4 so right click over here get link and uh, double click over here and copy this id and paste it over here and then we have the last video so right click over here get link and get this id and paste it over here so that's it with the links of all the videos so now let's go back to our video gallery and let's see whether it works so let's uh, refresh it and uh, let's click on the first video and we can see that the first video is being displayed over here let's close this and let's open this video right here and it is being displayed so everything is working all right all right now let's copy the code to our blogger website so here we can see we have already started creating a post so let's add a title over here so i'll just type video gallery and here you have to make sure that you are in the html view so by default it will be in the compose view so just go over here to this icon and change it to the html view all right now let's go back to our source code and i will leave the link of the source code in the description so let's copy the html from here so i'll just copy everything from here 
till uh, here and uh, let's paste it in our blogger post so here we have added all the HTML now the next thing we need to do is we need to update the links of the images so here we can see we have this IMG tag and in that we can see we have source and uh, the link is images slash the image name now we don't have the images folder in our blogger website so we have to upload the images first of all and get the links and add it over here so let's make some space over here and I'll just upload the images right here so I'll just click on insert image and upload from computer and let's click on choose files and uh, let's go back and here we can see we have this images folder and let's select all of these images and uh, let's click on open and let's select all these images and click on select and let's select original size and click on OK. Now here we can see all the images have been inserted. So let's get the link of these images. So here we can see we have the link of the play icon PNG. So let's copy this uh, link from here and uh, let's scroll down and uh, let's paste it in place of all the play icon PNGs. So I'll just cut this from here and paste the link over here. We will do the same with all the play icons. Right, so I have replaced all the links of the play icons. Now let's update the links of the thumbnails. So we have thumbnail 3 over here. So let's search for thumbnail 3. So here we can see this is the link for thumbnail 3. So let's copy this and paste it down here. And then we need to get the link of the first thumbnail. So this is the link of the first thumbnail. So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it down here. and uh, then let's go ahead and get the link of the second thumbnail so here we have the link of the second thumbnail and then lastly we have the link of the fourth thumbnail so let's copy this and paste it down here now if you scroll down we can see that we have this source over here and in that we already have some default link so let's just delete this from here Alright, now let's add the JavaScript. So I'll just make some space over here and we'll just create a script tag. And here we'll paste our JavaScript. So let's go back to the source code and let's copy the JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. Alright, so I think that's it with our post. So let's go ahead and uh, remove these uh, links from here and uh, let's click on publish and confirm alright now let's add the CSS so let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and uh, let's scroll down and uh, let's go to the CSS so this is all the CSS of the theme let's go to the end this is where the CSS ends so let's make some space over here and I'll just create a comment and we'll just type video gallery and let's copy the CSS over here. So let's go back to our source code. Let's go to style.css. And this is all the CSS of our video gallery. Now here we can see we have added font family railway to the body. So we just cut this from here and add it to the video gallery. Because if we add it to the body in our blogger theme, then it will change all this font over here. So we don't want to change anything else. We just want to change the font family of the video gallery. So here we have added font family inside the video gallery and we also need to add the font family to the video division. So here we can see this video division is outside the video gallery division. So we have to add the font family over here as well. So let's scroll down and uh, here I'll just paste the font family. All right now let's copy all the CSS from here to the end and uh, let's paste it in our theme code. Right now we also need to add the link of this railway font. So let's go to Google Fonts. So here I'm in fonts.google.com. So let's search for railway. And uh, let's click on this. And let's select two styles from here. We need to have regular. So let's select this. And we also need to have 800. So let's select this. And uh, let's copy this link from here and paste it in our template code so let's scroll all the way to the top and here in the head tag 
we need to add the link so I'll just paste it over here and we also need to close the tags over here so I'll just type forward slash and I will do that over here as well and here we need to have cross origin equals true and then we also need to close this tag over here so forward slash and whenever we have ampersand we need to replace it with ampersand amp semicolon All right now let's save it and now let's see whether it works alright so let's go back and let's go to post and let's open this post and here we can see that the video gallery is being displayed so let's click on any of these videos and it is working alright let's click on uh, picture in picture and let's click on another video so everything is working alright we don't have any problems so that's basically how you can add a video gallery to your blogger website let's also check the mobile version and we can see that everything works all right so that's basically it for this video this is how you can add a responsive video gallery to your blogger website i will leave the link of the design video and also the source code in the description of this video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh,